What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk about L'Hopital Rule. What does that mean, L'Hopital Rule? Whenever we have limit of f of x over g of x, when x approaches a, if f of a equals to g of a equals to 0, which means that it's going to be 0 over 0, then an f prime a and g prime a exist, then we can say that that limit is going to be equal to f prime a over g prime a. We need to make sure that g prime a shouldn't be equal to 0. So that's how we find the limit of this kind of situation. So let's prove it. We have f prime a over g prime a. Based on the definition of first derivative, we can say, first principle, limit of f prime a is going to be limit of f of x minus f of a over x minus a when x approaches a over limit of g of x minus g of a divided by x minus a when x approaches a. x minus a and x minus a cancels out and it's going to be limit of f of x minus f of a over g of x minus g of a when x approaches a then these two are equal to zero so we, then we're gonna have limit of f of x over g of x when x approaches a as you see here that's exactly what we have here so that's how we prove it so let's find out an example For example, we have limit of 3x minus sine x over x when x approaches 0. When you sub it there, it's going to be 3 times 0 minus sine 0 over 0, which is going to be 0 over 0. So that's not possible. So we're going to use L'Hopital rule. So it's going to be the derivative of a numerator, which is going to be 3 minus cosine x divided by 1. So it's going to be 3 minus cosine 0 over 1, which is going to be 3 minus 1. And that's going to be equal to 2. Another example, limit of square root of 1 minus x minus 1 over x when x approaches 0. Again, when you sub x is going to be 1 minus 1 over 0, which is going to be 0 over 0. So we need to use L'Hopital rule. Derivative of 1, square root of 1 plus x is going to be 1 over 2 root 1 plus x minus 0 over 1. That's going to be, that's going to be 1 over 2 root 1 plus x. So when x approaches 0, it's going to be 1 over 2 root 1 equals to 1 over 2. So that's how we find out the limits. And that's how we apply L'Hopital rule in calculus questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.